Photoshop CS5 recently got a free update that allows it to communicate with tablets and other external devices. At the same time, we released three applications in the iTunes Store that could communicate directly with Photoshop. One of them is a painting application. It allows you to do finger painting on the tablet and send those images over to Photoshop. Russell Brown came up with a great tutorial that allows you to really change the look of a portrait. I don't have as much skill as he does as a painter, so I figured out a way to compensate a little bit in Photoshop. And what I do is I take a normal image, and then I come into HDR toning, which is a new feature in CS5, and I just bump the detail a bit and the saturation. And what I'm left with is a, a much punchier image. It looks almost cartoon-like. It's got this very ethereal look to it. And then what we're going to do is take our tablet and go to Easel, our painting application. The trick here is that we want to start off with a big brush and a lighter color. And the opacity will govern how much we can see the photograph. So if it's a thinner brush, we'll be able to see more of the photo. So we want a pretty thin brush, and we're just going to paint all over the image there. And then we're going to build up to a, a slightly darker color. Let's go with a, a reddish color and make it a little darker on the edge. What we're eventually looking to get here is sort of a border around the image. A little darker on the edge, a little lighter on the middle with a lot of texture. Each different color and opacity is going to change the texture. Let's add another color, slightly different size, slightly different opacity, gradually building the edges darker here. And let's do one more. Let's make that a black and make that smaller, a little bit darker, and this will be the extreme edge of the image. When we're pleased with what we've got, we choose to transmit that to Photoshop. And all we need to do is hit Command A to select the entire thing, Command C to copy it, navigate to our photograph, Command V to drop it in there, and then Command T to transform it. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and transform that until it fits the image. We can hold the Shift key to constrain the proportions. We'll get it all set there. And then the last step is to come over to one of those individual layers and change the blend modes. I found that the vivid light or overlay works well. And you can change the opacity to get the look that you're after. This is one of those features where the layer blend modes and opacity can really change the look of the image. So take the image you've started with, the painting you've started with on the iPad, pass that over, and really play around with the different layer styles and blend modes. And you can get a really pleasing effect. It ends up looking uh, almost like a plastic camera effect, but it's, it's very original, uh, very different than anything you could traditionally do in Photoshop.